Hello, yes, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, hopefully you're new. So, yes, I'm doing a rewatch again, since I actually watched this movie with some friends a while back, but I did a live stream of Night of Living Dead for last Halloween. So, for this Halloween, I think I'm gonna do uh, the second part of this trilogy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Randy Means even said in this field horror movies, it's very rare to find a trilogy. Uh, let's see what we got. Night, Dawn, and Day. So, I might do Day. I might wait for that one. So, I'm thinking about doing the remake as well. Remake was my favorite. That is how a remake is supposed to be done. And... This one is actually pretty nice, too. There's still a special place in my heart for night, though. Just like this music, you know. Resident Evil... Uh, front Hall Room, the classic. I figured this one seems to be fitting for Halloween Chiller Month. And... Horror movies. All month round. Hopefully I can get a good amount out. Anyway, so, that's enough of that. Enough of the music. Alright, okay. Oh, gonna get started on this movie and now see if this movie holds up. I'm, I mean, of course it does. You can't compete with this movie. I mean, not compete. I'm wow. Day words right now. You can't hate this movie. What I meant to say. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Don't even subscribe. So, let's press play. Yeah, I should have just said that. As soon as I press record. Ah. <laughs> Love the way this one opens, too. Kind of like she's having PTSD Shit. nightmares of what's going on. Ooh, so I choose to watch the two-hour one instead of, like, the extended version because I'm going to be cutting stuff out. And it might be some of that. I got my laptop going. I don't need that on right now. Report that half those stations have been knocked out. Get me another list. Oh, cool, the sure, flame pong. Well, it's working. I'm not so you believe that every dead body that is not exterminated becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. Operated rescue station. I kind of like how The Last of Us kind of did a homage to this episode two where the two scientists are talking uh, no wait episode one or whatever the early episodes two people talking and they're talking about the virus and that now this is kind of how like they're doing right here Uh, yeah. I like how she's just real rational about this. Like, you don't need these rescue stations if there are no rescue stations there. Sure, yeah, right on it. I'm walking my ass out of here, too. Bye. Public needs facts. What do you have to give them? They kill for one reason. They kill for food. They eat their victims. You understand that, Mr. Berman? That's what keeps them going. <coughs> if we listen, if we don't. 
dealt with this phenomenon properly, without emotion, without emotion, it wouldn't have come to us. There is a martial law state in effect in Philadelphia, as in all other major cities in the country. It's just crazy. I kind of like. So she wasn't considering leaving until her man tells her. Must be exterminated either by destroying the brain or severing the brain from the rest of the body. Should we be unable to transfer? Meet me on the roof at nine o'clock. Get out. I don't believe it. What? Get out in the chopper. David, we can't. We've got. To. Now you be upstairs at nine o'clock and don't make me come looking for you. Go ahead. We'll be off the air by midnight anyway. The emergency networks are taking over. Our responsibility is finished. Yeah, I kind of like how she's come to the realization that this is a way more out of control than what's going on here. It is like a bigger problem. Oh, I freaking hate this guy. Him. Blow all their asses off, low life bastards. Blow all their low life right off. You're Rod, right? Rod Tucker. How the hell come we stick these low life bastards in these big ass fatty here? You gotta blow them out. Just stay cool. Have you considered seeing a professional help, sir? Because you sound like you need one. Waste of your time. Wait, wait, wait. wait you're just gonna go in there and shoot them all? Never mind. Don't go out there! Ah! Gotta respect that guy because he doesn't want to be a killer. He just wants to be a survivor, unfortunately. Now, he had a choice to shoot him or run. Wally, you piece of shit. Racist son of a bitch. I'm so glad what happens to him just happens. Although I wish his step was a little bit more slower because he deserved it. Being a racist cop and all. Can't stand racism. But, you know, you could just stab it too. I'm pretty sure you have a knife, don't you, sir? It for you. Wasn't you? I didn't see nothing. I didn't see how he died. Oh, he saw you. You don't have to lie going around killing people and all that randomly shooting about kind of was asking for it well 
I don't believe anybody's really asking for it. Like how their friendship develops over the film. Friend of mine's got this to the end. He asked me to come with him. Think it's right to run. This poor old guy. Senors, please to let me pass. Let's get into the barracks. No, no, please. Just let me pass. I go up to seventh floor to find my sister. Just let me pass. The people of 107 will do what you wish now. <coughs> Many have died last week on these trees. In the basement of this building, we find them. I have given them the last rites. Now, you do what you will. You are stronger than us. Well, soon, I think. They be stronger than you. I kind of like that foreshadowing, huh? You know, it's telling them they're going to out. Number them. We must stop the killing or we lose the war. It's like it's not. Don't make a boy to stick the door. Come on, get in. Get in. Now I like what he says here. Say, like, if this was your family, would you be able to put them down, even if they became zombies? No. That'd be a little bit difficult. Not everyone can do it. And that's why these people kept them here. No, I mean, he already says it. Ah, oh, that's 70s jazz music. I kind of like how Peter's not all about this either, you know? Jesus Christ! Hey, you okay down there? Yeah. You need more men? No, it's all done, man. It's all been done. Jeez. Yeah, thanks for coming in and help. A little late to the party, aren't you? Why do these people keep them here? Because they still believe there's respect in dying. I know there's a few deleted scenes where it shows him checking in the station and all that and Wally shooting the guy's head. But I mean, I've already seen it and I'm not going to put it on YouTube, so. That's why I'm watching the shorter version. Steven! The doc's been knocked out. Right, Can we carry the extra weight? A little hard. These guys saying, like, we're not going anywhere in a vehicle. We can't fly ourselves. We got an idea. Maybe we can make it to the island. What island? Any island. What about you? Where are you headed? I kind of like how that's, you know, brought back in the, whatchamacallit, remake. FYI, there's also a cut Still inside the remake where it shows their day. helicopter and the car crashing from the original Day of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, where Ben is actually telling the story to Barbara about the crash inside the 
whatchamacallit, gas station. junk. I wonder how long that's been out of order. Now, my question is, somebody actually put these zombies up in there. Or you don't have to be a Barbara, you can actually do something. That one's a mile away from you. Would you help him out and get that hammer or something? Jeez. I always thought that was pretty funny, the way he gets his little head cut off. I mean, his big head. Now somebody put these children up in that closet. How messed up is that? He was extra aggressive with them. the way he just comes in. He's not wrong. Maybe closer to Cleveland. No, we gotta stay out of the big cities. It's like he didn't even give them time to get out of the way. We may never get out of any place alive. We all stink. Memory. What yeah. used to do. This was an important place in their lives. Hey! Look at this! How do we get down there? You open the window, but not like that. Jesus, really? Now you know you don't have to break it like that. But whatever works for you. You better get some sleep too, buddy. There's an awful lot of stuff down there that we could use. I know it. It's a big place. But they're pretty spread out down there. I think we can outrun them. Doing the old hit, hit and run. run. Hit and run. Yeah. You're crazy! Look what 
Steven. Leave him be. We're going ourselves. <laughs> oh, like fuck, Steven. Yeah, can't be cursing on on YouTube. ready for that. Anyone but us comes up some stairs. You probably hear some shit. Just don't panic, okay? But if I hear shooting, that means there's danger, so I think I'm gonna panic. Thank you. Might as well have power and everything. We might need it. Where's if the, uh, hmm. Power hasn't gone out completely yet. $70 for a jacket like that back then? Damn. Yeah, you better collect all those coins you can get if the jackets are like $70. that gun. Yeah, hey, wait, now nah, I didn't realize she said that. Talking about leaving those guys. How many times has I seen this? Hmm. And that is why I do rewatches. Hey, I gotta admit, those are some freaky ass mannequins. Oh, I see. We're just gonna wheel right by them. We're gonna try, brother. We ain't doing this for this. Extra close, also extra close. That was smart. Oh god, that one just waited and jump on him. Oh, no, don't do that. That close, that range, that bullet might go through and still hit him. Or did he, uh, kind of just leave his girl up there with a zombie coming? I like how this one finds her. Like he's just wandering around. Wait longer before we move. No, there's always a 
chance of some of them staying up on the balcony. We can handle that. We can break through them. If any of them sleeps long enough to catch a breath, check out the radio. See what's happening. Oh, man. There's some kind of passageway over the tops of these stores. I don't know if it's just heating ducts or some kind of access. I saw it on a map. Upstairs. Let's go. I mean... It's a good idea, in theory, to make that a home base, but to stay there forever, I don't know. Food supplies, changing light yeah, bulbs, and all the other stuff, you know? No, it's gotta be in this area. It's on the map. Elevator. Give me a screwdriver and something to stand on for down there. Uh, I know where the tools are. Why don't you grab that stool over there? Yeah, there's one right in that zombie's head. Hey, you can go here, too. Oh yeah, when I was saying, do you think those boxes would be able to hold them? Let's try locking the door. That's right, in the original, they're afraid of fire. Yeah, he just slapped that right out of your hand. Good thing they got up there in time she was about to leave all your asses. Wouldn't even blame her at this point. She cares about that stuff you got. This is terrific. It really is. It's, it's perfect. All you left her defenseless. Things. Ain't that a shame? We really got it made here, Franny. Look at her looking like she wants to punch you. I wouldn't even blame her if she did. Ooh, caviar. Now, Fran makes a good point here. Well, in a little bit, she makes a good point. All your decisions made. Enough on their hands. So I guess we forget about Canada, right? Nobody cares about my boat. Oh, Fran, I thought you were sleeping. Oh, back then they didn't really think much about smoking and being pregnant. You were the one that wanted to set up pops. We must not be lulled by the concept of these. Are Remember you? You were in the crazies. You were the doctor in the crazies. We need to block those entrances. Those trucks are the answer. We put one at each door. Report says they're working on an analysis of this whole phenomenon uh, from the point of view of a viral disease. They're doing various laboratory tests. JC Penny, wow. If they can deal with it in that way, perhaps. Well, the JC Penny's now are closed. Extra no should I probably be more like Roger. In the zombie apocalypse, where I think I'm more like Fran. I would have made you all coffee and breakfast, but I don't have my pots and pans. That brings up a lot of points, like... We should all learn how to fly the plane. We should all have a gun. May I say something? Sure. We should all have a decision in the matter. I found out I'm pregnant because 
I don't want to be treated any differently than you treat each other. Oh, hey, Frank, come on. And I'm not going to be dead mother for you guys. And I want to know what's going on, and I want to have something to say about the plan. I don't know about you two, but I want to learn how to fly that helicopter. If anything happens to you, we have to be able to fly out of here. She's right, man. Come on, let's go. I mean, that is like one of the smartest decisions in this, well, no, not a whole movie, but it's a pretty smart decision in this whole group that they made. Oh, come on, don't be dropping that with attitude now. He was just attacked last night. He feels a little emasculated, I believe it is. I kind of like how it was Kenneth who was the one who says, like, she's right, fair enough, you know? In spite of everything, as you can hear, there are still some people with a sense of humor. All right, follow me. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Jack. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, so he's being a little bit too cocky for the zombie apocalypse. See that? Just letting him grope his face like that? Hmm. I just had I still dress like that zombie too. Flannel shirt, black pants, and boots. On, look, man. I feel called out. <clears throat> Personally attacked here by a zombie look. from 1978. <laughs> Just like in the average uh, night of living dead. Using tools like rocks. Took that little person, they shot him three times in the head. There, yeah, humbled you a little bit. Grounded you a little bit. You're not completely invincible in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I think I'll be trying to run as many of those things over too. Just playing with your life, you're playing with mine. Now you straight. Hmm, yeah. You need to be told that. Yeah. He's just being a little bit too irrational. Okay, so at first he was just having fun, now he's just being irrational. There are differences. Roger, Roger, watch it! Damn! Mm. 
Yeah. That's a shame. And his leg too. I feel bad for him. That's it, man. Even if they dealt with the leg, it would have been too late. It depends on how many of them are still inside. That's one hell of a run we gotta make. If we had more flares, or... they still had the arm too. Guns at first. Guns and ammunition. And in day when they cut off the arm. Spoiler alert. I don't think they realized it here. They were still kind of new. I mean, the outbreak was still kind of new to them. You sure you're gonna make it? Hey. I mean, then Don. Now, day takes place a little bit later on. I would have taken all the bullets first, then the guns, or whatever guns I need. But bullets would definitely become handy first, you know. Ain't it a crime? What? The only person who could ever miss with this. Hardware. One of the cars. Why don't you use one of the cars over there? Ah, it's convenient. You okay to start it? Okay, let's go. Damn, not the foot. Not the foot, Peter. Peter, you are a dumbass. I mean, Steven, not Peter. And the leg again. Can this guy get a break with that leg already? I guess that's smart. Getting them all. The doors are locked first. I'd be a little weirded out too, the way he just sits there and stares at her. He's just staring back like, you know, you're actually a lot better looking than my boyfriend. Leg is off while the infection spreading quickly. Ready? Let me 
me alone. It's all right. It's my problem. Mm, that one Just sickness. Get out of here. I don't want you here. Probably should have closed the door then. I just don't want you to see me like this, okay? Mm, Steven, get out, please. That's why bathrooms have doors. This place is gonna be rotten. We gotta clean it up, brother. I'm gonna put them in with the food. Oh, I'm so grill that up before you start contaminating it with the bodies. And I really waste all your energy walking through there like that. Huh? I kind of like how uh, in the remake they do this scene. Well, do a scene like this too. Trying on clothes, having a good time. <laughs> they haven't seen those things in forever. Kids nowadays always want to play on their phones or whatever. I mean, not always. They gotta be held up there for a while. Interesting, it hasn't even been very days yet. Because, you know, Roger's still around. At least they're having all that fun while they can, you know? I look at them with a the fashion here. That I like. They're still they really clean that model up fast, too. They're after us. They know we're still in here. They're after the place. Remember that they want to be in here. What the hell are they? They're us, that's all. There's no more room in hell. What? You know, Macumba? I kind of like that they use this line in the... Voodoo. Um, uh, whatchamacallit. Granddad in Trinidad. He used to tell us... The remake. And it's actually no him who makes that line. Uh, the boats this. Walk the earth. Yeah, he ain't looking... You take care. Kind of asking a lot here, now, aren't you, I, Roger? I don't want to be walking around like that. Peter. Yes, I'm here, man. Yeah, I kind of see his point. Don't do it to be sure. I am coming back. I'm going to try not to. Hey, they use maybe 5% of the food available in the human body. The kind of thing With that, that small amount, the body is usually intact enough to be mobile when it revives. What are you saying? I mean, you know, you scientists. Dummies! You suggest Dummies! them? Excuse me. Listen, quiet, quiet. Shh. One wonders whether it's worth saving. It's worth I'm thinking about this time frame and all that. <clears throat> it's probably been like a. On our nuclear resources. Why don't we drop bombs in all the big cities? You're probably oh, serious. I'm deadly serious. What are the choices? They won't run out of food, young lady. That's the problem. What are you talking about here? <laughs> I mean. Sound like just a bunch of people talking, a bunch of scientists without actually rhetoric. figuring it out. Fighting. How long would they last? Republicans versus the Democrats. They've got us in the hole. Economically, or we're in another war. I always wondered that. that we are down to the will line. a zombie starve to death we are down after to ten the years? There are no divisions among among living Please. society. At least oh, whenever I watch these movies, I always wonder that, like, if a zombie is going to starve after ten years of that food. Hmm. We've got to remain rational. Rest in peace, Roger. 
Scientists always think in those kind of terms. It doesn't. At least they're practicing how to shoot, too. You see where she's coming from, but there's no time like the present, I say. No. I always gotta put that in consideration, too. Okay, so now we figure out how long they actually been there. At least we got a better idea. I don't know how they got the place stacked out. Not dementia, but just going through that little Stockholm syndrome. Attention, all shoppers. If you have a sweet tooth, we have a special treat for Wait, you. how many times can you if hear that over and over again? Oh, I was younger when I worked retail. It's kind of like this, you know. It's like, how many times can you hear an announcement and all that stuff? Or even at school, you know? Here, you're actually stuck, which kind of sucks for them. It's been three days, why don't you give it up? They might yeah. come back on. At this point, I would think I would try to leave, you know, at least find somewhere else as well. It's still home base, but I have to be going crazy at this point. I've been here for about a month now. Mm, what it looks like on the calendar. Yep. The remake, I would have to say I was disappointed that they didn't have a game come and raid the mall like this. And look at this young Tom over here. I mean, you know, they should have just had food ready to get that, you know, when, uh, I was going to say plane, that helicopter there is ready to go.
in my 20s, so I'd probably be bowling out with this game, though. I'm not gonna lie. Be on my bike on the road, going to zombie apocalypse. Just three, huh? Holy shit. Time to go. They'll get in. Oh, man, that's a professional army. Looks like they've been surviving on the road all through this thing. All right. Well, professional's a strong word let's here. Not make it easy. Come on. I'm gonna just hit the lights and be out. Fifteen or twenty of them are gonna shut the gates. We're just gonna shut the gates. They'll never know we're here. Fifteen or twenty. Now, they should have been here these gates down from the start. But I guess it would probably be a little bit harder for them to go around too, so. Just been left. Listen, with those bay doors open, there's going to be a thousand zombies in here. Better take the heat off us. These guys are going to have their hands full. First time it was ever mentioned at the word zombies in a George J. Romero film. Look for everyone, not just yourself. Damn. Do I get a robbed a zombie too? Hmm. Of course we're gonna have a little bit of zombie fun here too with the pies. Zombies are like, oh man, really getting disrespected here. And they're robbing them too. Hmm. My boy. Bible, where the hell are you? It's ours. We took it. It's ours. My boy. Oh, you dumbass. Could have just let it be. Could have just left. Could have just turned off the lights and made it a lot harder for them, but no, you just gotta go up there and start shooting them. God damn it, Flyboy, what the hell are you doing? Alright, damn it. Now we've got a war. Just tap you and you fall off your bike. Say goodbye, creep. Hey man, what 
the hell you gonna watch on that thing? Yeah, that's a good point. Radio would have been better. Not much on TV now. No point of stealing one. See, that would have been a better thing to do. Where'd he go? Down there. Come on. Damn it, you dropped your gun right there, too. That sucks. Thank God, Joey Ramon. Shame this guy can't shoot. Shoot in the complete opposite direction of the zombies. This guy had to go back and do this now. You just had to get that test sitting here. See? And that's what you get. And test things too. Even though it's fake, it's still very gruesome to watch. I mean, it's very fake looking. Hmm. It's like they knew you were there. My boy, no more. Sorry, Peter. Sorry to Fran, too, especially. No is that baby gonna grow up without dad, but it's gonna grow up in a zombie infested world, too. That's a shame. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Like, what do you do at this point? Do you go back even though you hear me screaming in pain? Or do you get up out of there? I don't know. I'd probably be a sucker and probably go back. Check that up for him. I'm not saying it's a dumb move. I'm just saying it's a more compassionate move. Funny enough, when I was a kid, this movie is the reason why I was afraid of those things when they used to have them still. It's almost light. Let's go. He hasn't answered the radio for hours. For God's sake!
Oh yeah, this famous music in this scene. Find a little blood pressure thing though, that little blood pressure test. You saw this be afraid I was gonna get my arm stuck in there when I was like 13 after watching this movie. I'm a huge ready to die, but he refuses. He's pointing that right at his head. Think about it now. How come they didn't enforce it with something stronger than paper? Seems like a bad idea now. Hmm. Hey, you know feel like living after this point. Well, I mean, I know what happens, but... Yep. Now he has it. Hmm. He's like, hold up now. I'll take this one instead. That zombie refuses to die. He had that plot armor. Even to the end. enough to get you to Canada. And that was Dawn of the Dead. So I'm going to stop it right here. Because I'm not going to play the music. I already know there's no end credit scene, really. I mean... Yeah, I do like this one. The way it holds up and all that. It's still fun to watch. Good movie to find on YouTube while it's still up, you know? Anyway, so. Yeah. That was for our Halloween chiller month. Still have some others, I believe. I think I'm going to post this one first. I don't know what order I'm going to post my Halloween chiller month movies. Who knows? Just trying to get them all out the way. Anyway, 
Hope you all enjoy your Halloween, your October, and have a good one. I'll need a wrap now. Till next time.